have been following um, a lot of the new developments that have been happening in the city, especially since the creation of the Kampala City Capital City Authority. Uh, and we've been noticing tremendous improvements in terms of service delivery, in terms of uh, revenue collection, and also the implementation of uh, services and infrastructure. In particular, uh, with the World Bank, uh, we have been working on uh, technical assistance as well as uh, uh, major uh, lending engagement in the form of KDIP2. Uh, Kampala Institutional Infrastructure Development Project uh, that has been supporting the city to implement its mandate in terms of service delivery and infrastructure. So among other results that were truly impressive and which we use uh, a lot to uh, showcase success is the increase in uh, own uh, source revenues uh, of the city which have increased by 170% in two years. So that's almost an 85% year on year increase on, an, on, a, on a yearly basis which is a staggering uh, level of increase that allows both the city to have you know, clearly much better financial health, uh, uh, larger uh, indebtedness ceiling, but at the same time to obviously deliver much more services and infrastructure for its citizens. So I think these are very impressive achievements that uh, you know, we are uh, happy to witness and to support. The city is growing very fast, the economy is growing with it, um, Kampala now accounts for half of Uganda's GDP, so this is a powerhouse, but to unleash the full potential of Kampala, there are a number of bottlenecks and still a tall agenda ahead of the city, both in terms of infrastructure such as drainage, roads, uh, garbage management, but also in terms of strengthening the capacity of the uh, KCCA. The results that we have seen over the last four years is that uh, overdue uh, liabilities have been cut with more than 90% and the uh, own mobilized revenue has increased with 170% in four years. That may have been from a small base but it shows the direction in which the city is heading. So yes, that indicates that Kampala is on the right track. I see Kampala transforming itself into a modern capital city, one of the key uh, cities of interest for investment in East Africa and in the region at large. There is a long way ahead, but you are heading in the right direction.